Okay. This is my solar water heater. I'm very happy with it. I built it myself. It stands six feet tall and it's ten feet wide. A friend of mine gave me the windows which are two double pane glass store windows. Very large, very heavy. Inside um, there's 400 feet of three-quarter inch black hose coiled up. The black hose works really well because of course it conducts the heat better. It was about eighty dollars for all the black hose. I don't know if you can see it or not but as you can see the black hose coils around and around but in the middle it collapsed a little bit. It still works just as well even though the black hose has collapsed some. Um, down here is the big holding tank. It's the steel core from a water heater. I painted it with charcoal grill paint and right here how it works is I need to be able to keep the water circulating. So what I do is I have a line that pulls the water out of the holding tank through this blue water pump right here which I plug in when I want to circulate the water and you got to keep the water circulating because you want to pull the water through just a moment I run that for about you know for about two hours and my water usually generally gets up to about 120 degrees on a good on a good hot sunny day such as this right here I took this I got this water heater for free the black hose cost about 80 bucks. Altogether, with the lumber and everything, I have about $200 invested. But the point of the being is it pulls the water out, circulates it through there continuously all the whole time, and it gets very hot in there. And the hottest I've gotten the water up to is about 140 degrees at most. Now, I did have it running like a regular water heater where cold water coming in creates the pressure to push the hot water out through a garden hose into the into the main house right there. But the problem with that is I've, I say here I've got about 40 gallons of hot water or so in there. As the cold water would come in it would dilute the water out making it cold. It would cool it off very quickly. So what I did is I ran an air hose I put a little stem on that that reaches all the way to the bottom of the tank and I hooked this up right here with compressed air when I'm ready and that creates pressure inside the tank to create the water pressure so it pushes the water down and out and I use about 60 psi and that means that every drop is as warm as the one before it so I can take a nice long shower, my wife can take a shower, we can even wash the dishes, all on solar power. You may say that, yeah, well, you're running that circulator pump right there, which does use some electricity, and yes, it does, but it still pales in comparison to the amount of electricity that I'd be using to heat this much water in the amount of time that I'm using. And, you know, it's very cheap, actually, for the electricity. So here it is, my solar water heater. I'm very happy with it. It's very large, bigger the better, especially up here in northern Vermont, and you need to be able to heat as much water as you can, as quickly as you can, and this, this does the job. The more hose the better, and you need, of course, you need to have your storage tank right there to hold the water. By the end of the day, this many times is so hot I can't even touch it. It's already warm. So, there you go.